a story that always stands out in my mind when I was a new Muslim. This is going back about 10 years ago now. Being a new Muslim, I didn't know most of the rules. For example, I didn't know that in the masjid, when somebody is praying, you're not allowed to walk in front of him. So I remember once I was at my local masjid in Melbourne and I just finished my salat and I'm thinking, MashaAllah, good Muslim, I've prayed in the masjid. Now it's time to go home. So I thought, okay, there's a few people praying and I don't want to walk in front of them when they're making ruku. So there was one big brother, mashallah, big Somali brother, the biggest brother in the masjid. His name was Ahmed. I saw that he was making ruku next to a pillar. So I thought as soon as he gets up, I'll quickly walk in front of him and go outside. So I, I'm thinking, mashallah, it's all plans. As he gets up from ruku, I quickly dash across and Ahmed in an instant, he sees me coming. So he throws out his arm lightning like that and boom hits me right in the chest and i thought subhanallah he just tried to hit me i mean i didn't know about these rules about not walking in front of i'm thinking he tried to hit me and this guy he's at least twice my size i'm big he was massive mashallah so i just quickly you know got myself together went around the other way and bolted outside of the masjids so the next day Again, it's Maghrib. I get to the masjid and this time I'm on guard. I'm thinking, man, I'm staying away from this guy, Ahmed. So I actually made sure when I got to the masjid, I waited till I heard the iqamah, then I came inside the masjid. After the salat finished, I saw that he was in the front row and he turned around and he saw me. Oh, his eyes connected with mine. Quickly, I looked away. I'm thinking, I gotta get out of here as quick as I can. And I saw him get up, boom, I left the masjid. Third day, I thought, subhanAllah, this is going to get hard. I mean, every day trying to avoid this guy. I mean, I must have really annoyed him. Then I got to the masjid and as I was going inside, I'm, I'm thinking, how am I going to avoid him? And then all of a sudden I turned the corner face to face with him. There he is looking down on me. Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salaam. And I'm thinking, man, I'm going to cop it. Really, I don't know what I've done, but it must have been really bad. And subhanAllah. He takes me by the hand and he says, MashaAllah, you're a new Muslim. I said, yes. He says, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. He was so happy making dua and SubhanAllah. I'd never seen someone speaking so kindly. I'm thinking he's just speaking kindly to, you know, fool me that, you know, he's about to get me for what I did wrong. But SubhanAllah, we began to speak for a while. How did you embrace Islam? You know, uh, gently, you know, giving me kind words until he said, you remember a few days ago we're in the masjid? And when I was praying, you went to walk in front of me? I said, yeah, I remember. And then he told me, the Prophet ﷺ told us that when a person is praying, that we're not supposed to walk in front of them. Because when a person prays, he's praying to Allah. And it's not suitable that another person should come across this, lest it seem that he is worshipping that person. So he told us ﷺ to stop the person. He said, mashallah, you, you were very quick. So I had to stop you very quickly. And he said, please forgive me if I did anything wrong to you. I love you for the sake of Allah. And subhanAllah, at that moment, I felt like a fool. But you see, the way that he advised me, the way in which he gave me this advice was beautiful. He didn't tell me off because he knew I was a new Muslim. He knew that I probably wasn't aware about these things. And after he gave me this advice, subhanAllah, he was the most beloved person to my heart. Every time I would come to the masjid, I would go out of my way to greet him. We would spend so many beautiful times together. And we see our dear brother Ahmed, may Allah have mercy upon him. The first year that I was going for Hajj, I remember asking a lot of my friends. I said to them, are you coming for Hajj this year? And all of them said, yes, inshallah we're coming. And even Ahmed, he said, yes, I have the intention inshallah to come for Hajj. However, that year at the Hajj, I, I bumped into everyone. I met someone on Arafah, someone in Muzdalifa, someone in Medina. I saw everyone except for Ahmed. I'm thinking, yeah, miskin, maybe he didn't have the money to come for the Hajj. Maybe something was stopping him. Yet when the Hajj had finished, we returned to our hotel in Mecca. And I don't know how, but the news had actually reached us in Mecca that our dear brother Ahmed, rahmatullahi ali, had been killed in Somalia. And subhanAllah, I was thinking, how did this happen? He didn't say a word to anyone because this was the same year that Saddam Hussein was executed and the Ethiopians had invaded Somalia. So Ahmed, without saying a word to anybody, 
went over to protect the Muslims in Somalia. And subhanAllah, he, because he wasn't very experienced on the battlefield, he ended up being shot in the stomach. And just as he was dying, subhanAllah, the brothers, they had come to him. And in his dying words, he said to them, he said, please, I have a $500 debt. And I ask one of you to pay this for me. Because we know the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us that all of the sins of the Shaheed are forgiven except for Ad-Dain, except for the debt. And then he said, please, some, someone look after my wife. Because his wife was an Australian convert living in Somalia with him. Then he said, tell all of the brothers in Australia to do exactly as I have done. And then he looked up. He looked up and he said, I can see my place in Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul. This was our dear brother Ahmed, rahmatullahi ali. Someone who really affected my heart with this simple piece of advice. Commanding to that which was good, telling me the right way to conduct oneself in the masjid and forbidding that which is evil, which is walking in front of someone when they were praying. A small action, a very, very small action, but you see the way in which he went about this was something that affected my heart.